Oh, this is a fun matchup here downfield with Zeppelin and Atkins. Yeah. Wow. That is. Wow, that was nice. Daniel Brunker. Colorado Summit. Is that Matthew Agee? Probably saying that wrong, but that was a heck of a grab. Tatum with a nice put, too. Uggy, AG, I don't know, one of them, but great grab. Yeah, energy. Tall Paul Renault, long downfield, and another break picked off. Guess who? Vincent Genet once again with the D. Now they're going deep, looking for E1 corner! Wow, what an another amazing layout uh, by that Montreal player. Kamire for Stonehouse. Stonehouse might be able to track this one down. Indeed, he does. Hello. Oscar Stonehouse, all at 18 years old, makes it 12 6. Stonehouse taking flight right there. Recognizes the shape of that throw from Kamire. Connected earlier in this game and throughout this rush season so far. Full extension layout, even before the. Jack Brown, a huge swing to the other side of the field. Can they pull it down? Not quite. And Pulled Taylor away. Martin rips it away, looking for Garrett Martin. And a. A huge bid from Garrett Martin. He gets horizontal. He says, I am not giving this one up. <laughs> not in front of the home crowd. Not tonight. Written on his chest for his first two games, he had, hi, mom, hi, dad. I asked him today, <laughs> hi, girlfriend, we have this hi, time girlfriend. around. He saved it for the home game. But um, Kelly does pull that down. Rafi Hayes. Should be able to just find a nice huck here to Jake Johnson. We'll have to put some uh, speed out there. Jake Johnson, nice! What a grab! He's not going to let that one get away from him. Pulls it down. Well, Nitro's fired up. Great huck by Rafi Hayes. Kevin Brown with the disc. And he's unloading with the backhand into space for Ruben Miller, who goes horizontal for the goal. And the handspring to boot. That'll get the crowd going. First break of the game for the Radicals. Two goal lead. And that's that Breeze Stevens. Kiyoi now breaks it around. Ooh, that's going to float. Ooh, skying. <laughs> Defense over Marcel Osborne. And a big shot the other way. Looking for his receiver, and he's got it for the grab. The Salt Lake shred, number 11, My Taylor Barton with a huge grab in the end zone. Bololo immediately goes deep. The shot follows in right out of the sky. One throw for a goal. Manuel Bololo, second point of the game. Just a perfect read flying to catch that one. And I mean, you see the defender thing, they had it the entire time, but man, he understands it's gonna be one of these things you gotta get over, over the top, not just the defender, but. No one is open by multiple steps. Throwing into traffic here. Matt Smith unable to make the catch in the first effort. On the second, he could not come up with it. He thought maybe he got a fingertip underneath. Now all four referees coming together. Integrity rule called. They're calling it. Look, apparently an integrity rule. Carolina calling it up. So this is going to be a spectacular goal from Matt Smith. We get the benefit 
of a second look. Monica with the backhand. And Matt Smith, that's so close. That time a little bit shorter than his last few passes, but still moving up the field. Quick play here as Wells gives chase. Wells diving, and Wells comes down with it, and he's fired up as he makes it 6-5. to five. Great close out there by Wells. You know, this Salt Lake team, they're here to win. There's no doubt about that. El Salam shoots it. J.P. Burns bumped by Alex Davis. Burns goes over the top. Second effort. Did he get it? Yes! J.P. Burns ties the game with an insane second effort grab. Holy smokes, this game is tied. Unreal. Another potentially ill-advised shot from El Salam. Burns was points for the hustle. Austin Taylor shooting it deep. Carl Eckwurzel back in the end zone. What a catch! An early exclamation point here tonight in Atlanta. This is exactly why they call the freak athlete Carl Eckwurzel, Carl Enzone. Big Huck. See if we come out on top. With the bid, and he has it. Incredible bid by John Lee. That's something that this Portland team does, if not better than anyone else, more than anyone else. They lead the league in Huck's Huck attempts. So Here's Lawrence here looking Huck. Let's go, get on it. Get on Floating up. A couple more steps. Oh, grab one and outstand it. Play. Gotta show some love. The fans are showing Oh my love. goodness. Oh. And Absolutely. At least force the other team to have to go the full length of the field. Alley Cats may have no trouble doing that, though. Going out to get it. Kaish hangs on! Maybe with his best grab yet. Jeremy Kaish has been in the end zone now six times. And the on the south side. Huge possession here. If I'm not mistaken, Austin will receive to start the fourth quarter. That is correct. 15 seconds left. Weiss going deep. He's got the receiver out there. Not quite. Yes, he did. How did he make that play? Kyle Rutledge. I thought that disc was going to sail harmlessly on a play, but here we see Jeff Weiss again letting it sail. Pouse and Tone Green playing the 1 2 game, and Pouse sends it up to Sam Ward. He's running for it. He's fast. He lays out. He makes a grab. And that's a break for the windchill. And you got to clap for that. Any words of criticism and use them for his advantage. Now working it down the line, Smith looking for Sinjins. An incredible layout. Flying through the air, yes, Brad sir. Sinjins. Too easy there for the hustle. There, right hand side, there's Shanahan. Shanahan lays it out for Artemakis, who makes a tremendous play on the disc for the score. That disc looked like it was going to find an empty home in the end zone, but Eli Artemakis tracking it down. Bruner, oh, fired into the end zone. Beautiful diving catch.
Jeff Robinson. Chicago Union going over the... We'll work backwards to carve up yardage going down the field. Inside here for Bray. Bray puts up a shot. Taylor racing towards the disc. Will he get there? Yes, he will. Austin Taylor, how do you do? That man just flew through the air. Wow. They need to convert. Ruben shooting it. McDougal accelerates into the end zone. He's got it. A tumble and a pop right back up for Sean McDougal. It's just special, you know. There's nothing else to say. Sean McDougal is really, really special, and he's been doing this for so many seasons. You know, to see him move down to San Diego and just catch fire the same way he did in L.A., the shot goes up. Last night, and the windchill went on to beat Detroit today as this deep shot is perfect for Sam Cook. Oh, and that... Dusan reading the altitude of the conditions expertly. Van Dusan, I love the, the shape of his throws. Really has figured out at altitude how to flatten these throws out. A lot of times the deep shot goes up and it trails off to the left if it's a backhand like that. And his have turned over. That one sat really nice. Probably dropped maybe a little quicker than he thought it would. We have to also keep in mind the two extra blocks promised from Matt Johnson. He won't get a chance here. Instead, the block goes to Jabron Mieser, at least momentarily, because Anders Olsen stays in bounds on the second effort. Amazing catch. Uh, great D by Jabron, just nullified with an absolutely awesome play. And also a great throw by Luca Hardwood. You know, he went deep on the previous point, and this time he's sending it down there for somebody else. It'll, he'll still figure it out. I have the feeling. Indy back on the attack. Gross. To Levi Jacobs. Jacobs is going to go deep. Jason Valley's trying to run that one down, but Keegan North will make the play for the score. I love Keegan. He is fun to watch play this game of ultimate, folks. <laughs> Jackson looking for, ooh. Samu was Another in the bay. area. Nethercut shoots to the corner. Disc is dying. Ooh. What a grab from Quinn Finer. The kick spike. Finer continuing to just, you know, <laughs> throw up more goals on his stash. He is having himself a night. Great throw from Nethercut. Looking for solutions to try to get the disc in the end zone as Eric Blaze takes it over, rips it into space for Kelson Alexander. He's gonna have to go get, and he does. What a play from the longtime Radicals veteran, Kelson Alexander, returning to the team and making plays. Comes up to Richardson. Lolo, here comes the put to Richardson. Joey Wiley is not there in time. Richardson with those big arms. What a grab. That's just two great athletes. I think Joey might have took for granted. You know, any turnover he throws is just... You know, his, his, his teammates got to help him. What an amazing <laughs> bid. Holy a huge layout block from Potts. That That'll be on the highlight reel. What an incredible conversion for that break. And there's Austin's youth right there for you, showing up big. Jackson. Thank you. Bray with the disc, surveying. A nice around here for JP. And Burnett, a nice cut, going deep. Burnett in green pastures. Will he get to it? Yes, he will. Justin Burnett, human highlight reel. Oh, you love to see it. You love to see him come out on offense and immediately make an impact with a deep catch. J.P. Burns. Going around the double team. Brent into the end zone, making a highlight. Oh, it didn't need to be that spectacular, but give us some more of that. So 
you can set on a good mark eventually. As we see the deep throw go up to Arsenault. What a grab by Arsenault. A bidding clap catch into the end zone for the Ottawa goal. That was a fantastic rundown by Arsenault. I didn't think he was going to get there. I thought that pass was too far, but this is clearly... 30 seconds left here in the first quarter. Working it down the field. Out of Luton's. He'll fire deep. Good matchup against Racing down Taylor. the field. Who wants it more? And a big layout grab there for the score. Robert Erlangi. Wow. Can't find a deep throw. Uh, stall count rising. Uh, will find a uh, forehand flick to Rafi Hayes. Defender bidding out. That actually will just open things up for Nitro. Oh, what a catch! The arms out slide from Eli Friedman. That'll be his second goal of the day. He's actually wondering if he was going to creep his way up towards uh, 50 uh, in his career. And a bit more of an assist player today. But as you see, Rafi Hayes gets clear there. He like breathing. I think if they go up top, they're going to have it all day. Now, whether they'll, they'll be able to be. Kayridge puts it up with time winding down, looking like 10 seconds now on the clock. And that one is all the way into the back of the end zone and caught for a Dallas score. A prime example right there of Austin playing way, giving him a good cushion of seven or eight yards there under. Up the line into power position. And gosh, we've seen those puts from Abe Coffin before. What a throw and what a catch for the break from Minnesota. And it, honestly, about halfway through that flight, I didn't know. To Kinney. Back over to Husted. And Husted shoots through the end zone. Power position, shooting the backhand for Kanaki. He's got oh, it! Oh, yes! Sterling Kanaki, full extension! If there is a great play to be made, Sterling Kanaki will do it. now working back of the field going deep middle Marcel Osborne could not make a play on it in a ridiculous bid Luke Jorgensen that is looks off Jordan Kerr Jordan Kerr is getting get it on the second look and he's gonna find a huge layout D. Jensen Wells pulls it oh down for a second chance goal. They're storming the field. Jensen Wells, again with the second effort, again with the strong heart, not giving up on the play. Massive, massive bid from the Spiders player there, but Jensen Wells knows it's not over. We're gonna get another look at that. I cannot believe he kept that in. Jordan Kerr is probably more happy than anyone. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> and just dives a double layout. I thought he was out, but he lands clearly inbounds. That's a fabulous play. 100% great play from Jensen Wells. Kudos to 33 Ryan Shepard uh, of the Spiders. That's a and, you know, kudos, like you said, to both defenses for playing fast, playing aggressive. Uh, great, great throw to space there. Um, finds Jackson Stearns. Thinks about the shot deep and does throw it. And that should be a diving grab. A diving grab from field. Brandon Fine. Fantastic connection. There's one you hang on your wall. There's one you, you really hope the photographer was looking at right the spot because look at this layout. It's a huge throw from Stearns. Right, looks off here, big lefty forehand. And it's a little bit, he's got to change his direction. It's just a leaping. Another break chance here for Atlanta. Let's see if they can capitalize this time. Now working the dash on the inside. That's Streaking deep. down the field, looking to make a big play here. And will secure the disc. Full extension for the grab. Comes up to Richardson. 
Lolo, here comes the put to Richardson. Joey Wiley is not there in time. Richardson with those big arms, what a grab. That's just two great athletes. I think Joey might have took for granted. Montreal, pressing. Julien Bernard, Dyes gets it! 7-3, Montreal on a wonderful feed from Felix Leonel. Montreal did not waste no time moving that disc up the field. Boston sagging from the handlers here against uh, Philadelphia's horizontal stack. Boston, Philadelphia shooting deep. Greg Martin has to turn on the Jets. Oh, what an incredible layout grab from Greg Martin. Alex Thorne to Greg. That was one of the hard ones. Yeah, I thought that one was too far when he let it go. I was like, if anybody's going to catch it, it's going to be Greg. And he's coming up looking a little straight. And who knows, maybe a first break point. Oh, it was tipped by Brissette with only five seconds. Pollard going long, downwind. And one white jersey, oh. and it's confirmed. What a layout by the Philadelphia Receiver scoring the 17th point against Montreal with Pollard go in with the 80-ish yard long passes late in the third quarter. So Philadelphia just confirming how in control they are. Number nine, what a great read, what a great effort. It's Mark Arquetta who kind of uh, hesitated by the path of the disc, but had to quickly lay it out to make sure he secures it. Look at Pollard on the replay, going long. Arcata being by himself. See, he hesitated and he had to really going on catch up. So some great top 10 material being played by Philadelphia here in Montreal on this Friday evening. Oui, euh, Brissette là, qui devait penser que le, le temps au tableau était complètement écoulé là, et qu'il avait, qu avait pas le temps. Evans finding Henke. Sending Henry Fisher. Henry Fisher, what a catch! Using every inch of that frame, Fisher runs it down. Six foot six, and he needed every inch. Alicott's content to grind. Nifty inside out finds Ray. Fridella goes to seal it off. Comes back into the middle. North has it now. Pops it up around Gross. This one might not be catchable, but it is. My goodness. Rick Gross. That disc almost beyond his reach. I believe it was Keegan North. Who threw